Hello, my dear friends. You are currently looking at one of the most powerful, and if you ask me, also one of the most beautiful workstations that I've ever seen and that I've ever had. This is the artwork, as I would consider it, that I created in the last two weeks. And this is the result. And if you ask me, at least in terms of beauty, I think this one is really, really a success. I love it, really. That was one of my goals, to create something that looks amazing and also something that is very powerful. And if you ask me, this is also really one of the best builds that you could possibly have for rendering in Blender or Photoshop art. So and in that sense, I welcome you to this new video. Thank you for tuning in. It's a pleasure. I'm really proud and happy to present you the whole process of putting the parts together and building this thing. And you will see that in just a minute. I will, before that, I will talk a little bit about the parts and why this one is so powerful, especially for Blender. But um, yeah, I, I'm very proud to present the process because I love these kind of like hands-on videos. Um, of course, I started with a new case. I came from the Dark, Dark Tower Be Quiet case and I thought they would be quiet, but it, it really wasn't quiet, it was very loud. And so I really wanted to have a new case, a new start and a new airflow. And in addition to that, I decided to downgrade my CPU which might be surprising for you, but in fact, I had a 32 core Threadripper 3970X, which is a very, very powerful thing. Definitely, it's worth over 2000 euro right now. Um, but I never really use CPU rendering. I always render over the GPU. So why would I have such a powerful and valuable machine that I don't really use? So when I searched a little bit through the internet, how can I improve my viewport in Blender, for example, then I came across the 5900X, which has a very high single core performance. And single core performance is that what you need if you want to have a very quick preview in your viewport. And that is why I switched to the 5900, which is much cheaper, which only costs 400 bucks. It is very convenient. And so I could spare some money and invest it into a 3080 Ti, which runs now along with the 3070. And that was one of the issues that I had with the new case, because I thought the case, which is the Lian Lai 011 Dynamic Evo, I thought uh, there would be enough space, but there was not. It was definitely not enough space, at least not if I want to have a healthy airflow. So I had to build a basement below the case, which is something completely new for me. I had to go to the hardware store and I had to get myself some plywoods and you know, I screwed everything together, painted it and yeah, you will see that in the video in a second. Uh, but I had to create a basement so I can lay the graphics card in that and have a razor cable to connect it with the motherboard. And now there's 3080 Ti running along with the 3070 and together combined they have an unbelievable power. That's amazing. It's better than a 3090 alone. And it's cheaper. That's cool. That's very cool. And by the way, I don't believe in a 3090 because it's just too expensive for my taste. You know, like for, for what you get, it's simply too much money. So I really believe that the 3080 Ti is a perfect is a perfect balance of maximum power, but in kind of kind of affordable. I mean, it's not really. It's really still expensive, but it's a very powerful machine. So absolute recommendation for that. By the way, I'm not getting paid for anything I say. If that is interesting for some of you guys, there's no cooperation from my side with the manufacturers or anything like that. I bought everything with my own money and I'm just presenting this in that way because I like video making in a way, I don't know. It's just, it's just a matter of taste. So I'm not getting paid for that. What else do we have got? Uh, we have a nice water cooling system. Of course, you might have seen that NZXT Kraken Z 73 with the very nice display in it and you can run little gif animations or anything similar uh, you can also display the temperatures and uh, speed and whatever very nice very beautiful thing and in white it's also very nice fit for my white case and the white parts that i have in there so and then we have strymer rgb cables also a very beautiful thing 64 gigabytes of memory and one terabyte m2 ssd so and that is all mounted on an nzxt n7 mainboard in white 
So, all right, that is for the parts. Uh, let's now have a quick look at the benchmarks. At first, I was running a few 3D mark tests today earlier. And as you can see here, we have a machine that is better than 99% of all results. Man, that is crazy. Of course, this is only regarding one certain test environment. If we check another one, we are not that good. 97%. There's also where the score is a little bit less than average, but that is for me completely okay. If you see this, I would say this computer is, is very good. So that's for the benchmarks. And I would say let's get the video rolling. And if you don't mind, please leave me a like. That would be very appreciated. And also if you want to leave me a subscription, that would be also very nice. It's very much appreciated. Thank you for that. And so, yeah, I would say uh, enjoy the video. I hope it's a little bit cooler at your place. I mean, we have 38 degrees Celsius in Germany today. It is like, it's insane. I've never experienced that much heat in any place in Germany ever. <laughs> so it's one of the hottest days I've ever experienced. All right, so I hope it's a little bit cooler at your side and enjoy the afternoon and we see each other next time.
einfach mal, alles leuchtet, die leuchten alle, die leuchten, die leuchten, die Kabel leuchten, die leuchten und vor allem die Anzeige ist jetzt richtig. Krass! Jenny, es funktioniert! Nein. Nein, nein, nein. Au!